Now, if trailblazing as South Africa's first black helicopter commander wasn't enough to land Lieutenant Colonel Zanele Vayeke Shambuga in the country's history books, she took it further and led the <coughs> aircraft formation of the President Cyril Ramaphosa's inauguration on Wednesday. Now, not only was that an, a spectacular event to behold from our TV screens, but it was also an astonishing sight to behold in person, and that is the words of our very own Tashrik, a true body, who confirmed as he witnessed uh, while covering the President's inauguration at the Union Buildings in Pretoria. To tell us more and uh, about the experience herself, we are about to take her with South Africa's South African Air Force's Lieutenant Colonel Zanele Vayeke Shabangu. Good afternoon, Lieutenant Colonel, and welcome to Soundbite. Afternoon and afternoon to your listeners. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's such a pleasure to have you, Lieutenant Colonel. You've made history books, not only as being the first helicopter commander, but you led the helicopter diamond formation fly past during President Cyril Ramaphosa's inauguration. That's correct, yes. Uh, I had the pleasure of being uh, the one who must lead the helicopter formation over once the President was inaugurated. And Lieutenant Colonel, a lot of people don't realize you actually wanted to be a medical doctor. Yes, yeah, uh, that's correct. Uh, growing up, uh, I always envied uh, being a doctor. I've always wanted to be a doctor. My aunt is a nurse, so I used to go and visit her workplace uh, there to assist over weekends and school holidays. That's how passionate about uh, I, I was about uh, medicine. But because uh, my mother is not working and she's at home, and due to financial constraints, I couldn't fulfill the dream. So then the next uh, best option for me was uh, then the defense force that offered me to do pilot's course and lieutenant colonel when you did the course did you ever envisage that you are going to become a commander Mm, initially, no, because uh, remember when I joined the, the, the Defense Force, I had no idea uh, what was ahead of me. But uh, once I was inside the system and I knew and understood what was ahead of me, then I, I told myself that one day I want to see myself as the Oryx commander. And that's what you went on to go and do. Now, take, let's take it a step further. You become the Oryx commander, mm -hmm. right? Would you yes. ever mm -hmm. imagine doing a flyby at the presidential inauguration? Not even. No, not even a single day I thought of, of, of doing that myself, no. And uh, what went into preparation for that? There's so many uh, areas that you have to think of as you go ahead to actually practice for this diamond formation. Yes, uh, firstly, uh, the most important part of the formation is the briefing. The briefing has to be thorough and has to be precise and clear of the activities per minute as what's going to happen next. And all the members of the formation, they need to be in the picture or in the loop of what is expected of them. And then from there or not, we'll go and do the actual execution of the of the formation. So the formation itself, it's a co coordination between myself as the lead aircraft and also the person on the ground who we call the ground liaison officer who, who looks at the time and who gives you the exact time to say, I want you to be overhead at, at, at at this time so it's a coordination of both air crew and also the ground personnel to make sure that we execute this efficiently and it was executed beautifully um we had Thank our very you. we had our very own tashrik true body there and he said it was truly a sight to behold but when you're actually busy flying there must be a, a certain level of of nerves there because this is the president's inauguration and you are busy doing the flyby. Did you experience that, Lieutenant Colonel? A lot, a lot. I experienced that when I was walking towards the aircraft and I realized this is the moment, it's now or never. And when, when I was in the air as well, when I was in the hold waiting uh, for the GLO to call us in, I was also a bit nervous then. But when the final call came through to say, Haley One, you are cleared inbound and my nerves started coming in there, playing a role. But then I had to uh, calm myself down to say, you know what, this is it. It's now or never. So let's just go and do it and make, make the president proud. And the president definitely seemed proud the way he was looking up and smiling at our first, our first black female commander. I mean, it's, it's, it's history being made. But, but here's another thing. Um, this experience, obviously, 
you are going to be able to take it forward because people don't also realize that uh, you're also a pilot instructor for a flying school in Bloemfontein. Yes, yes. I'm a qualified instructor. I give instructions to the newly uh, pilots who is who aspire to be in my uh, position. And I'm also the officer commanding of the school. And this is a, a field that has started to open up um, for all South Africans, but especially for our females. Is there any words of advice that you would give somebody who's really yearning? You know, they say to, to become a pilot, there must be a yearning for it. Um, yeah. Is there any words of advice that you would give to someone who's feeling that? I, I always say uh, people must set the goal for themselves and know their goal. And there will be hurdles along the way. They must ignore that and remember what the target and the goal is at all times. Even when you're going through hardships or bad situations remember the reason why you chose that goal there's a reason and the sky is only the limit or oh, the sky is not the limit <laughs> yeah i i, I, I like that because yeah. i, I the just, sky is not the limit the sky is not the limit and i i hope that yeah. one day we can actually get to hear that our very own lieutenant colonel zanele uh, decided to make that trip to space I hope so. I hope so because that's the vision of our our chief now, uh, chief of the South African Air Force. He's looking into space. So I hope uh, by the time it's executed, I will be young enough to be part of the people that goes into space. Actually, <laughs> are we looking forward to seeing you there, Lieutenant Colonel Zanele? Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon on the Soundbite. Thank you for inviting me. That they're the voice of South Africa Air Forces, Lieutenant Colonel Zanele Vayeke Shabangu. The first black female helicopter commander and the first woman to do a fly past a diamond head formation. And as you heard, there's a lot of coordination going into that. And even somebody with her skill set was nervous, but then the training just took over. And what a sight to behold. It's 100.4 FM, Radio 786.